Okay, well, uh, I did a whole bunch of South Park things. So I figured I'd watch the old uh, South Park bigger, longer, uncut movie and see if I could find anything in there. Um, right in the very beginning here, I, I wish I could turn on the captions. Um, there's, I can't do it. But uh, anyway, the very beginning, and maybe this is a, a stretch, probably is, but I just noticed that uh, Stan's address is 2001. The movie came out in 1999. Um, his address is 2001, so I don't know if they're trying to point something out. But the first lines in the whole movie are, There's a bunch of birds in the sky. And then I just think of 9-11 and flying birds, airplanes. I don't know. Like I said, it's a stretch. But I'm going to move on. And it's just stuff you just never notice when you're younger or a long time ago. Um... He's like, this used to be one of my favorite movies. But anyway, uh, right, he's singing still in the very first intro song. And he goes in and he says, Mom, can I have $8 to go see a movie? I, why $8? So then, I mean, uh, right, it's still in the same beginning song here. Um, Kenny's the poor kid, right? And uh, he, Stan comes and says, hey, Kenny, let's go see the Terrence of Phillip movie. And... Kenny's like, all right. And his mom says, uh, you can't go. You have to go to church. And then he says, whatever. You know, he mumbles. And then his mom said, well, that's fine. Then uh, when you die, you're just going to have to answer to Satan. And then he says, okay. And then they walk away. But it's funny because they make the poor people uh, seem really stupid and that they believe. And uh, they're like the religious ones, but they're the poor ones. I just think that's funny. So, yeah, I mean, in the very beginning here, it kind of introduces you to all the characters. Um, like I said, everybody's seen South Park. Um, this, you know, this movie is old. It's from, like, 99. So, you know, you didn't really understand the characters that well yet until this movie. I mean, when the movie came out, it made it a lot better. But, uh, anyway, so you had Stan's address was 2001, and Kyle's address is 1002. So, you got a mirrored image which I just think is weird that they would do that, you know, just mirror it. But anyway, um, Kyle is a Jewish family, and he has red hair. So um, that's totally a Tribe of Dan reference. Um, so I, I just find that weird, you know. Most Jews that you see on TV or whatever, they have, you know, like the dark hair. Um, you know, they have... The Jewish characteristics, like the bigger nose and all that, whatever. Um, but Kyle has red hair, and so did, um, so does his mom. I just, uh, that's totally a Tribe of Dan reference, and you don't even realize it until you learn more about it, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Actually, another little thing um, uh, about this. Her, his mom right here is the reason that, uh, World War Three happens, so um, she causes World War Three, and when Terrence and Philip, uh, the blood die, hits the ground, Satan and Saddam Hussein can rise up to uh, take over the Earth or whatever. And uh, I mean, you'll find out later what happens, but uh, it's just interesting that you know she's a red-haired Jew, and she's the one who causes World War Three, and. Uh, make satan rise up or whatever i just wanted to throw that on there too i forgot to say it so then they go to cartman's house and the first thing i notice is that cartman has a picture with him and his mom and they're at mount rushmore so i decided to look up mount rushmore so mount rushmore says that it was sculpted by danish american gutson borglum and his son lincoln borglum so i clicked on gutson borglum he died in 1941, uh, which was 73 years ago. He died at the age of 73. So he died, I'm just going to say it again. He died 73 years ago at the age of 73. So let's check out his son, Lincoln Borglum or Glum or whatever. He also died when he was 73 years old. 
it's pretty weird. He died 73 years ago, age 73, and his son dies at age 73, too. Hmm. His uh, dad died in March of 1941, and he died January 1986. So that would be 44 years apart. And, of course, it says he was a member of Battle River Masonic Lodge Number 92 in Hermoso, Hermosa, South Dakota. So I clicked on that. Then it says here, in 1926, Battle River Lodge Number 92 of Hermosa bought the 1889 Hermosa School, stripped it of its, of its brick veneer, um, whatever, and moved it to what is now three... Th- 33 North 2nd Street, um, where the remaining wooden shell was converted into a lodge hall. So they bought an old school from 1889, and they turned it into their lodge hall, right? But, what's interesting, for one, they moved it to 33 North 2nd Street. So you got your 33, 32, um, and eight, they bought it in 1926, which is... 88 years ago, 1889 is 37 years before 1926. So they bought this building 37 years before 1926, which is 88 years ago. They moved it to uh, Skull and Bones or 332 um, address. It's pretty weird. I mean, the 37... 73, 26, 88, they're all connected once again. Not even really trying to find it, just watching the movie and I look up something and there you go. It's right there. Then it says Mount Rushmore was established March 3rd, 1925. So yes, uh, 89 years ago, but March 3rd is 3-3. And 3-3, for one, is your 33rd degree Mason. Also... If you flip three up, it is an M, so it's an M-M, Master Mason, Um, so you're 33 Master Mason, and I just showed you the, the the whatever it was, Hermosa Lodge 92. And then you find out they started sculpting it October 4th, 1927. Until October 31st, 1941. October 4th is 88 days uh, left until the end of the year. So after October 4th, there's 88 days left until the end of the year. And it was finished in 1941, 73 years ago. And then... Sorry, my computer computer froze up there for a second um it says it has all the faces and it talks about dedicating them and on abraham lincoln it says was dedicated september 17th 1937 in 1937 or never mind just 1937 well 1937 was what 77 years ago and i had a video a while back about abe lincoln and Abe Lincoln died 88 years after the um, first Independence Day in 1776, July 4th. Um, but actually, he died 88 days, nine months, or nine months, eleven days, nine hours, and eleven minutes after July 4th, 1776. So Abe Lincoln died. I'm gonna say it one more time. Abe Lincoln died 88 years, 9 months, 11 days, 9 hours, and 11 minutes after uh, July 4th, 1776. And then they dedicated, uh, they dedicated his sculpture on Mount Rushmore in 1937, um, 77 years ago. So the whole point of the movie um, is that uh, these kids go and watch the Terrence and Philip movie 
and Terrence and Philip are Canadians, and it's just like a bunch of fart jokes and cuss words and everything else. And when they get out, they start cussing, and Kyle's mom and the other moms freak out, but mostly Kyle's mom freaks out, um, starts World War Three with Canada, so the United States is fighting Canada, and then... Uh, Kenny dies like he does. He did in every episode forever. Um, now I'm wondering how many episodes he did die every episode in a row. Um, but anyway, uh, he dies and he goes to hell and he finds out that excuse me that Satan uh, is gonna when Terrence and Philip die, Satan is gonna come rule the earth or whatever, and he tries to warn him. Um, but that that's basically the whole point of the movie is that they see this bad movie and then uh World War Three happens because of it and they don't want it to happen. And I mean that's basically the whole movie. I just wanted to throw that out there in case uh people haven't seen the movie. Also, throughout the movie they have a bunch of um just random people on the wall, like pictures I don't know who this guy is. Um I figured out a few of them. I I know that guy looks familiar, I just cannot think of it, so if anyone can, uh, if they look him up and find something, that'd be awesome. Um, but uh, I know in the early South Parks too, a lot of it was, uh, they had a lot to do with aliens and whatnot, and they, it, it's in the background a lot in this movie, you know. Um, life on other planets, you know, they're really trying to push the alien um, thing throughout the movie it's all in the background but anyway i just wanted to point out they have a lot of stuff in the background that has to do with aliens and there's just random people and i don't understand the purpose of it i don't know who this guy is but he looks familiar and uh so i just wanted to point that out really quick in case um other people watch the movie and uh you know they can try to help me with this because uh i'd like to know i guess see if anything if who knows, the dude's probably born on August 8th or something. It seems like everybody I look up, that happens. But anyway, moving on, I'm taking forever, so it's probably gonna be, it's definitely going to be a two-part video. And uh, this is a prime example right here. It's like the next scene um, in the movie, but uh, they have a picture of a gorilla, and then it just says, it's time to wake up. Like, I mean, remember, this movie came out in 1999, so... I mean, people weren't saying, wake up. Everybody says that now, it seems like. you need, It's time for you to wake up. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, you know? And then in 1999, on the background of this movie, a poster, a, a random gorilla, and it says it's time to wake up. That's pretty strange. Like, it's they want you to see that. Why I don't get why it would say time to wake up. Now, what's weird is that, uh, so Cartman, they all start cussing in class. And um, they go to. They have to. They get sent to the counselor, Mr. Mackey. And in the background, look, there's a giant owl poster. But what's weird about it is that I've watched multiple episodes. I've probably seen every episode of South Park multiple times. And when they go to Mr. Mackey's office, this picture is not in the office. It's in this movie. It is, but it's not in most of the episodes. I've never seen it. Um, pretty weird. Uh, the owl is definitely significant. I'm not even going to explain why. Um, just just too much to go into. But uh, anyway, weird. All right. And uh, we also have a chef here. He's introduced here at this part. Um, but chef is played by Isaac Hayes. And he was born August 20th, which is, I believe... The 232nd day of the year. So you got 2332. And he died August 10th, which is normally the 222nd day of the year. But in 2008 is a leap year. So he died on the 223rd day of the year. So you have 2332. And then he died on the uh, 223rd day of the year in 2008. He was also uh, big into Scientology, and that was invented by L. Ron Hubbard. And he was born March 13th, 1911. So 9-11, and remember March 13th.